my students now coming to the next example that is a method with arguments and without written values so arguments are there but no written values so how to write the program for this so let me take uh, a void class sample is my class name and the void without written type so that's why i'm mentioning void add is my method name with written uh, with arguments int a comma int b so int a comma int b so a method with arguments and without written value so if you're without written value means void you need to be mentioned so i'm taking another variable int c is equal to a plus b okay and try to print that value because there is no written type so if written type is there try try to write return c and that c value you can be print in the main program but here there is no written type so try to write system dot out dot print ln here only so print ln so print ln the c value is going to be printed and close the instance method now public static void main now create an object sample d is equal to new sample okay so by using an object reference d dot there is no written type if written type is there try to write in text is equal to d dot add but here there is no written type so directly you have to write d dot add call the instance method add what is the a and b give the values here okay i'm just giving the 20 comma 30 okay that's it so what i had done here this is a method calling by using an object reference. By using an object reference, I'm calling my instance method. Okay. So whenever I uh, first the class is loaded, open brace executed, controller comes to public static void main, open brace executed. Now the object is created. So with the help of the object reference, d dot, I'm calling my met instance method. So controller comes to here, the 20, comma 30. So C is equal to 20 plus 30. So 50, a 50 value will be stored in C and that is going to be printed. So now let's see, uh, see the output. So first Java C sample dot Java. Okay, no compilation errors. Now execute the program Java class name sample. So 50, the value 50 is printed. So this is a way you have to access the uh, means use a method with arguments and without return values. So here I have taken the primitive data types. Now let me take a uh, reference data type because a data types can be either you can use a primitive or you can use a reference, right? So let me take uh, add elements, elements. And here I'm taking the reference data type. Let me take uh, int of array A, okay? So now I'm taking one variable int uh, total equal to zero. So let me take uh, int total equal to zero. So here I'm using like a, a for loop because I want to access, right? So for, let me take int B, it's an enhanced for loop. So total is equal to total. First, let me write the program, then I'll explain. So it's a for loop uh, after uh, uh, reading all the elements and uh, performing the operation, the value has to be printed because there is no written type. So directly write the system.println here. So what you have to be print total, you have to be print total. So public static void main. So here, so an object reference int because uh, int x is equal to, I'm taking, first try to initialize an array because you have to add the element. So try to initialize an uh, array. So x I'm taking an ar array reference. So int x is equal to two comma four comma six, okay, two, uh, something like one. So I have taken total five elements, two, four, six, two, one. So create an object sample, d is equal to new sample. 
so i am calling my instance method by using an object reference there is no return type so no need to mention int x is equal to something into y is equal to d dot sample so no re, uh, return type so directly write call by using an object reference d dot add elements of x that's it so this is a program so so first try to execute it then i'll explain the program java c sample dot java so some error is there so i forgot to write some so here the semicolon i missed okay so no errors try to compile it S sample so 15 total 15 you got so how it is two four six two one so now let me explain you the program so if i add all two four six two one i get that in uh, formation okay so first class is loaded open brace executed controller comes to here the main program so now an array with uh, x and uh, initialized with the values two four six two one okay so with of x of zero x of one x of two x of three x of four these are the indices okay so now the object is created so d dot add elements so d dot add elements of x so first x of zero the controller will comes to here okay so first the total total is zero is initialized now a of zero so instead of x now this is an x object right this is an x object is created okay sample x object is created so it will be referenced by a also so now a of zero so that value that is two value will be copied into the b okay so total is zero zero plus two two okay again zero plus two two so now the controller again goes to here now a of one a of one is equal to four so four value will be copied into the b so two plus four okay so two plus four six so now the total is six again controller goes back to here so now here the six six plus six twelve so six plus six is twelve again controller goes to here now a value is a two so 12 plus 2 14 again controller back come here now a of x of 4 that is the one value copied into here so 14 plus 1 15 so the value will be 15 now check what is the value here okay first let me clear all the drawings okay so now check here this is a value i got it as a 15 so this is a way you have to be uh, a method with arguments and without written values i had explained two examples by taking a primitive data types and i had taken an instance uh, reference data type so you can use reference data types and you can use a primitive data type okay still if you are facing any doubts please let me know students i hope you it is clear for you